G'day Ziggy D here with another Path of Exile guide. Inspired by one of your guys' recent comments, I've decided to make a full video guide to my hotkey setup and also just some extra uh, tips and tricks that maybe you can use towards making your own comfortable hotkey setup that uh, keeps you alive in hardcore and stops you from getting any hand injuries or any nasty things like that. So the first most important thing with action RPGs is that your hand is very stagnant a lot of the time. It's in, in this one position a lot of the time. So you want to make that one position as comfortable as possible. Now, in, compa in comparison, another game I play, StarCraft 2, I use the default hotkey setup, which actually has you moving all the way across the keyboard. Now, that's okay to have awkward key bindings in that because your whole hand is moving around. And that actually acts as like a stretch and an exercise. And you can you can have some wrist issues if you're not if you don't do it right, but Overall, that you're not going to have any hand injuries from you know being in one position. However, in an, in an action RPG like Path of Exile or Diablo 3, uh, you are really in one static position. So you want, if you're having any fingers stretched in that static position, like pinky on shift, uh, you can have you know you can have injuries. A com common one for pinky on shift, if you play a lot of action RPGs, which maybe you've felt before, is like a twinge in this muscle here on the side of your hand. Uh, this this part of your hand is very strong. However, if you are holding it in an awkward position, if you're holding your pinky in an awkward position, you can get muscle injuries in there. So you want to avoid that as much as possible because, you know, nothing will kill your farming faster than a hand injury. So in back in Diablo 3 days, I made a um, hockey video called The Most Comfortable Key Bindings in the World or something like that. And it really was. It was about uh, making a key binding that really took advantage of this natural curve of the hand. So just to show you guys these fingers here. You've got these three fingers here, which are in a line. You've got your pinky, which is slightly lower, and then your thumb, which is all the way down here. So, uh, obviously, you want to use something like space for your thumb, uh, something, you know, instead of shift for your pinky that's more comfortable, and then your main skills for here. So, what I've done here to, uh, you know, work this out, this is the hotkeys in Path of Exile are much more complicated than the hotkeys in Diablo 3. There's quite a few more. So, I had to make a few little adjustments to that setup, but I think I found something that works pretty well for me and maybe you guys can draw some inspiration from. So the first thing I had to do was shift all the skills up to one through five. Now I've got these set up a little bit different here and that's just because I've had to work around uh, some weird key binding issues on the Mac that I'm currently on, but you can just use one through five on this and you have your middle mouse button for a curse or something like that. So what I do is uh, to get around the shift issue instead of having my finger like this down on shift, I've rebound shift to tab. So attack in place is tab. Now if you don't use this already in Path of Exile or Action RPGs, attack in place is super important. Let's uh, put normal attack on here. If I click around with, I don't know why that stayed up. If we click around here with normal attack, we move, right? The only way to attack with that is to hold shift. Now even if you're using another skill, like say I'm using poison arrow and there's an enemy around this doorway here, and I click on them, what my character's going to do is actually going to try and run through the doorway, which can get you killed. So say I want to instead just fire into that doorway to make the poison cloud happen, then I can hold shift and press 3 and it'll fire. Even if I accidentally click on a mob, I won't run off into my death. I'll, my character won't derp to their death. So that's super important. So you want to have that easily accessible, and I think tab's a really good spot for my setup at least. Now what I do is I run three very common skills on 1, 2, and 3, since these two these fingers are always on them, and my most commonly used skills should be easily accessible. And then I've currently got an aura on here, but I think this should be like a utility skill, so a curse or a totem or something like that. And then have your auras on 5. Uh, as I said, I just, I've had to bring up something different here. And then your middle mouse button can be a curse or another utility skill, things like that. And then I, I tend to put a single attack on right click there. So. With those being the main skills, I've had to obviously shift my flasks around a lot because they're on, you know, they are typically on 1 through 5 if you're using the QWERTY original setup. So, what I've done is I've put Q and W, which is my main heals that I use most of the time, and they're bubbling and seething flasks usually. Uh, so, that's a small rapid uh, heal, that's a, that's a larger rapid heal. Uh, on Q and W, so that's reach my left finger, you know, reach my third finger down here, and reach my middle finger down here for W. Uh, and then for my emergency heal, which is the thumb, you know, which it needs to have some useful task, is space. So um, the space flask, I think, should be like an instant heal on low life or another big seething flask. It should be something big because you can't rapidly tap space with the thumb like you can tap, rapidly tap with a finger. If you try to do this, it's a lot easier than doing this. Like, that's much slower. So you want one big heal on your thumb there. Now, for the quicksilver flask, I've actually rebound that up to the tilled key there. So. Uh, I, what I didn't want, I didn't want uh, Quicksilver to be close to any health flask, so I didn't want to accidentally ever hit that, because Quicksilver is a control thing, and you could actually get yourself killed if you suddenly have a boost of move speed when you weren't expecting it. So, 
You want it to be easily accessible, but not to be confused with any other flask. So up on tilt, nice and easy, I reach it with my pinky or, pinky or with my third finger across or pinky up like that. Pretty easy stuff. Uh, and then S, which I think could possibly be on E if you don't find S comfortable. I usually have like a utility flask or a mana flask, but for a blood magic build, I use a saturated flask, which is a slower, bigger heal. So I use this as a big heal over time while I'm in longer engagements and also has life leech. So uh, it's like a big mana potion for a, blood, for a blood magic build. So pretty interesting stuff there. One other thing I just wanted to point out was move only. So you've probably noticed by now that I have move only bound on this key. And you've probably noticed other people like some streamers and things like that have that as well. The reason for this is if you have this bound to an attack move and you're, you know, you're in an emergency, you're surrounded by mobs. If you try to, you know, click out to run because, you know, you're going to get killed and you accidentally click on one of those mobs, you'll attack instead of running, and that, that will get you killed. You will have deaths from that, especially in races, and some builds are worse than others as well. So you really want force move on that. Now, you could have force move on something else, but I think in an emergency situation, you don't have time to think. Let's say you have force move bound to M. You're like, oh, you're in an emergency. I'm, oh, I'm about to die. What's my force move key again? You're not going to do that. You're just going to you're just going to left click to get out of there. So you want uh, what is already your muscle memory for moving to be your move only emergency skill as well. So you know when I'm when I'm in danger, I like hit space and get out of there like that, and then you know, I can I can quickly tap Q for my my rapid heals while I'm doing that as well. So I think that's uh, super important, and that that one thing having move only bound to left click will save you in hardcore. So pretty good one to do. Now those are all the main ones, and uh, you should come up with you know some adjustments to this, or you can use a slightly different style if you want. But just remember, keeping your hand in this position is the best thing for an action RPG. You want it to be as comfortable and as close to this natural hand shape as possible. So try and arrange your hotkeys in whatever is a good way for that. Uh, but however, of course, I've had to uh, move a few other hotkeys around to make that work. So for my inventory, I use F, so nice and easily accessible. I just bring my finger down like that and press F. You want uh, your inventory to not be accidentally opening in combat because that you know that reduces your screen space and can can cause issues, but you also want it to be accessible so you can quickly drop a portal scroll if you need to. So you want it to be just bam, open portal scroll, click back on the portal, nice and easy like that. Uh, for my map, which I'm using commonly but isn't an emergency thing or anything like that, I put on B, so I just reach up with my thumb to activate the map. I shouldn't need to be using a potion whenever I'm having my map up, but Maybe you could come up with a better binding for that. Uh, in terms of weapon slot, I don't actually have one at the moment. I use X, so I think that might even be default, but you just reach this finger down to get X nice and easy. And then for removing labels, which sometimes you need to do to sort out loot and things like that, or, you know, attack enemies when there's lots of loot on screen, it's just Z next to X, so that's an easy. I think they're actually both default, so they shouldn't, be too, they shouldn't really be changed on there. So anyway, as I said, this is not meant to be the best key binding. You know, you should come up with a key binding that suits you. Everyone's hands are differently shaped, different length fingers, all that sort of thing. Uh, and you might find something different, something slightly more comfortable for you. But try and keep that main idea of, you know, of the action RPGs, having a stagnant hand position, having, you know, avoiding those injuries as long as possible. Because if you really want to, you know, enjoy this game for a long time to come, you don't want to be having any hand injuries or anything like that. Nothing will expect. Uh, destroy your gaming experience quite like a, a twinge nerve or something like that. So anyway, uh, happy and safe gaming. Hopefully this guy, this saves some of your lives and some of your muscles. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.